Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. North Carolina people's in the Horace Williams house right off the campus at Chapel Hill. And here this evening, we're going to meet and talk with a very interesting personality, Barbara Fredrickson. She's Keenan Distinguished Professor of Psychology at the University of Chapel Hill, and she's doing some definitive work in positive emotions. I know you'll look forward to this as much as I do, and we'll talk with her in just a few seconds. Sponsored in part by Wachovia, helping North Carolina people realize their financial goals since 1879. And through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. should have told people when I was making that introduction, Dr. Fredrickson, that you a summa cum laude graduate of that wonderful Carleton College out in Minnesota and mm -hmm. your PhD from Stanford and now we're lucky enough to have you here. We're so pleased you're in Chapel Hill and uh, I know you enjoy springtime once again. Oh yes, I, I really enjoy being here. <laughs> to put in an oversimplification, I was reading all this interesting material about your work and a sentence jumped up out at me. What difference does it make for me to feel good? Yeah. Is that yeah. the anchor question of your research? It is, it is. Um, uh, what good is it to feel good? One of the things that I think um, uh, was often overlooked in the science of, of emotions was how uh, emotions uh, very subtly shift the, the scope of our attention and our thinking in uh, ways that can be imperceptible to you, but um, we've done experiments uh, where we induce people to feel a neutral state or a positive state, and sometimes a comparison negative state as well, like a, a moment of anxiety. Um, and uh, then we measure um, uh, how much people can see the big picture versus focus on um, small details. And when we induce people to feel a positive emotion, they have a broader scope of attention. And that allows people to um, uh, take in more information, see more connections to other people, and um, uh, be more creative as a result. Uh, in the moment, that may not seem as uh, striking as a you know, fight or flight response with a negative emotion. But actually, the true benefit of that um, uh, really is seen over time. As you have many more of these broad-minded, open-minded moments, people are discovering new things about themselves, discovering new ways to be in the world. And that fundamentally transforms people. Well, now, positive emotion. You use words like these. Optimism, gratitude, mindfulness, hope, mm -hmm. spirituality. These are on the upside of life. Right. And then it's been written, most people don't have any idea of how to tap into that. And they don't even recognize it when it happens to them sometimes. But to, to say that I know I'm doing it's when I feel constructive, when I feel connected, you even use mm -hmm. the words, when I feel playful, even silly sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is this what you're talking about? Yeah, I think there are, there are a, a whole range of positive emotions, feeling joyful, feeling um, uh, amused is sort of one type of positive emotion, feeling uh, grateful, feeling inspired uh, would be another class of positive emotion, feeling love and uh, connection with others. Uh, there's just a, um, it's a lot more than happy. Mm -hmm. you know, happy is a sort of a gloss word that doesn't um, uh, capture all the nuances that might be there across different positive emotional states. And we found that despite the subtle differences in these uh, different positive emotions, they all seem to share in common this way of widening our outlook, giving us a broader outlook on the world. And that seems to be the heart of, of what allows them to make a difference in people's lives. And I think that a lot of um, positive emotions just are viewed as trivial, like, oh, that's just being silly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you really, when, you know, when you're having a silly moment with a child or, or a new acquaintance, you're building a friendship, you're building a bond. And so that moment of just uh, creative silliness is actually um, serving uh, a different end. It's, it's creating a relationship. Is this what you mean then when you use the phrase signature strength that everybody has 
within them certain signature strengths? I think that um, people uh, vary in uh, which emotions seem most uh, familiar to them mm -hmm. and uh, uh, c recognizing that can be a, 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 a inroad into understanding more about yourself and your signature strengths. Some people will do things because of ego. Mm -hmm. Some people will do things because they have to have such a gnawing satisfaction, need for satisfaction and recognition. Mm -hmm. Others will do it because of religious motivation. Mm -hmm. How do you grade among all these drives, or are all of these, in one way or another, a positive emotion? Um, you know, they could be in some ways, although uh, there's a difference between um, being motivated to uh, approach and achieve mm -hmm. um, uh, a positive end versus avoid a uh, uh, negative outcome. So somebody could be achievement motivated for either either way. They could see, you know, oh, there's so much I want to accomplish with my work, and you know, I'm excited and um, uh, curious about where it'll take me. Versus, um, I don't want to be a failure. You know, those are two very different um, kinds of motivations, and I think that would uh, tell the difference between whether somebody was going to experience the um, positive benefits of positive emotions, getting uh, this uh, upward spiral that we've discovered that they can um, produce, versus um, being uh, a little more rigidly defined by avoiding um, a negative outcome. Now, sometimes I do things just for the sheer pleasure of it. Mm -hmm. Can that motivation, that emotion, lead me to the other step of converting that energy and drive into doing something to it? improve somebody else's well-being? Yeah, I think that's the heart of it. I think the really? things that end up um, uh, uh, lightening our hearts, making us feel good, are actually also very useful states that allow us to become more connected with others, become more energized by our pursuits and our ideas, and that paying attention to when we're experiencing positive emotions is a, can be a marker of um, a, 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 an arena of growth. So that um, you're um, doing something just for the fun of it in the moment may seem trivial, but it actually is, um, it forecasts you being on a trajectory of growth and becoming more engaged and more vital and more, more flourishing. In the year 2000, you won the famous Templeton Prize, a $100,000 prize mm -hmm. given by the American Psychological Association, number mm -hmm. one achiever. Mm -hmm. Now, let me put it this way. You and I both know people who will say to you, I made it on my own. I'm, yeah. a, I'm, I'm completely self-motivated. Right. I'm, a, I'm a four plus guy, I'm a mm -hmm. tough guy and all this. Right. Uh, how in the world does that person ever willingly acknowledge a positive emotion? Uh, what happens to them? Yeah, willingly acknowledge a positive emotion. I think, I think those um, moments are ones where people will realize that uh, they are part of something larger. So that um, in a real earnest, heartfelt, positive state is when people realize that, you know, uh, there's more oneness in the world than they're typically recognizing. Oneness uh, across people. And um, uh, there's, um, I think there's a way in which uh, it, it, as, as a science, psychology hasn't really tackled questions about these um, moments where we feel connection and oneness with others. And that's what I'm finding so fascinating about what we're, my students and I are up to, is that we're, um, we're trying to um, uh, understand what, uh, instead of keeping them completely mysterious, um, to bring them um, into the scientific spotlight and try to understand what what is it that we can do to produce more of those feelings if they are truly generative of good outcomes.